Hi everyone. It is <clears throat> a Wednesday afternoon, a very cold and wet Wednesday afternoon. And uh, the time is currently 4.13 and it's the 14th of August. And <clears throat> one of my viewers, Jake Gillibrand, Gillibrand, do feel free to uh, <laughs> lay into me if I've pronounced that wrong. Um, anyway, he asked two weeks ago, so I do apologise it's taken two weeks to get to this, to do a review on my Porsches here that he saw in my video titled Boot Fair Stuff, which was uploaded July 26th, according to YouTube. Yeah, so... Three of them. <clears throat> These two are made by Barago, which is an Italian company. This one, I don't know, it just says made in China on the bottom. Um, but it's got all the same features as a Barago. In fact, it almost, almost, not quite, but almost looks identical. This has actually got different wheels on it. Yeah, and this one's not in as good condition, but I found it cheap in a cherry shop. And uh, I just thought that would look nice up on the TV with uh, my other two. So, all of these have opening doors. And opening, I don't know if you'd actually consider those the hood. As that's where the engine is. Quite nice detailed one in this one, for one made in China. It's got Carrera written on the lid there. Doesn't like to stay up, it's a bit loose. But uh, yeah, the quality feels okay for an unknown brand one. If that's Barago it would have it stamped on the bottom here. This shame is a little bit beat up but if I really wanted to I could respray this a different colour. It's only held together with one screw there. Two screws, sorry, there's one right there as well. So I could take it apart really, really easy and respray it if I wanted to. Now, these two I got together in another charity shop. Uh, I think it's the one that we call a community shop because um, they raise funds for local organizations and charities and things and events. Um, they give grants to them once a month. And uh, yeah, I got these two from there. Now they are based on the same Porsche. The only difference is this one's the convertible, this one isn't. But they are the 1993, yeah, 1993 Porsche Carrera 911. <clears throat> I think this one has got a bit better detail under there than the uh, yellow one. I forgot to mention the wheels do turn. Steering wheel does move with them as well. Doors open on this one. Oops. And on the back, this doesn't. Oh, yes, it has got Carrera written on the, the lid there. Hang on a minute. I'm just going to reach over. No. And just put some extra light on. There we go. So I don't know if you can actually see that. I don't know if it's actually going to focus on it, but there is Carrera written on the boot lid. Actually, all sort of a silvery colour, probably to mimic chrome. But the other one, the yellow one, it's got a mix of chrome. And black. in fact, I prefer the chrome on this one. Can I get that in the light so you can see it? It's really tricky. You can just about see the chrome, whatever it is in there. I'm not actually sure. <clears throat> the interiors are pretty nicely detailed. Let's see if I can get your shot in there. Might have been easier to do that with the convertible, actually. I think. Yeah, they've used the same engine. It's just a different um, casting, because this one's a convertible. I do need a bit of glue, because my window is popping up on this one. Can you see that? A bit annoying, but... 
Here's a better view of the interior. See it's got um, seat belts, sun flaps, rear seats, little gear stick in there. Quite a detailed dash in there as well. I can't get a good enough shot in there to show you. I have got a little flashlight here. I don't know if that's going to help. Not really. I've got the camera at an awkward angle as well. <clears throat> mm. I think my favourite is the green one. I actually like that shade of green. Um, I don't know why, but convertibles never have really appealed to me that much. I think this one is actually slightly bigger. That is, isn't it? That's slightly bigger. Very, even though I think these are all meant to be 124 scale. Yeah. How does that work? That's meant to be 124 scale, and you can actually see when they're side by side, this one's a little bit bigger. Not by much, but it is noticeable. Oh, and the yellow one's got a black gear stick in it, not a chrome one. And all the pedals are on the floor. Has it got the pedals on the floor? Yep. I think the yellow one is just a smidge heavier as well. <clears throat> or it might not be because there's paint missing on this one so it might be a bit lighter. <laughs> anyway. I'm guessing Jake likes Porsches. So... I thought I would also include some of these because I have a bunch of uh, Lego Porsches. These need a bit of a dust down anyway because I've been on my shelf. Well, I say a bit of a dust down, they need a big dust. So um, yeah, Lego do a thing called Speed Champions and uh, they have done a number of these Porsches. Uh, that's a 911 as well. Hiding under all of that. Um, you see what I call it the Speed Champions thing. They, they've got a bunch of other cars, not just Porsches. They've got Dodgers, Mustangs, um, there's Bugattis, Chevys. But as this was the port or the Porsche related video, I thought I'll just bring out the Porsches. I can't remember what this Porsche is, but it is a Porsche. Another one based on a race car. And that one is actually part of a two car set that came with this green one. The um, 1974 911. Which I'm not sure if I prefer the one in green or recently released by Lego, the one in white. They're sort of a more of a civilian looking Porsche, aren't they? I haven't got any of the, uh, you know, like this one. That's got the um, Schaeffler or Schaeffler, uh, Chopard, DMG Moy. That's got all the advertising stickers and things on it for racing. Whereas these two haven't, and I've got one more here, which is the first one I bought. <sighs> Let's get the dust off of it. Here's this one. I've never been a big fan on these sort of sports cars, but I don't know why this year I've taken quite a shining to Porsche. And I've got a number of them. I've got a number of smaller die casts as well. Um, which unfortunately a lot of them are not accessible at the minute. At least not easily accessible. So, uh, yeah, I thought this would be just something a little bit different as well <clears throat> as I've always said I'm always open to suggestions or if you want see something in the background of a video you want me to take a closer look at I'm more than happy to do that so anyway thanks a lot for watching everyone I hope you did like the video and I will talk to you again very soon bye